Thank you so much to my friends at Aquila for making this episode possible. Go check them out at aquilasafari.com and make sure that you go visit them whenever you are close to Cape Town. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to sell everything you own? <laughs> Buying a boat, moving on to it and sailing around the world. Well, I'm doing that and I'm making other people's dreams come true along the way. <laughs> come check it out. <laughs> the Paper Boat Project. You can support this cause by going over to Patreon and putting a tip in the jar. Thank you so much for everybody that's wanted to support. Now you can. Good morning. Welcome to another episode, guys. Today we're going to make another person's paper boat dream come true. I'm so excited. I have my chest strap. I have my camera and you'll see why in a second. So as you guys know, the Paper Boat Project was started to just showcase the most amazing people around the world. I bought myself a boat after years of dreaming of doing so and I decided to do things for people around the world that I can show them and make their paper boat dreams come true. So today is a very, very special day for a little girl called Stacy in Portland, Oregon. So I received an email and I'm gonna read it to you. It says, Dear Captain Liu, my mom and dad follow your YouTube channel and asked me to send you this email. I've always wanted to go on a safari in Africa. Is it possible you can make this happen for me? I'm 12 years old, I love horses, unicorns, of course, and hanging out with my family. I would love for you to make this paper boat dream come true. Oh, Stacy, seeing that you love horses, my friends at Aquila Game Farm is making us go on a big five horseback safari just for you disclaimer although i look like a very good equestrian i'm not i'm doing this just for you stacy previous time i did this i almost fell off the horse i open private today you'll be proud of me yeah you have to report it eh madeleine do you see the elephant hey you guys we have warranty and he's the head of the anti-poaching unit stacy they're making me wear a hair net or hair net i'm gonna get you back for that i wanted to do my nice cowboy hat but they said I have to have a helmet because I'm an amateur. Stacy, welcome to the horseback safari. Once you get in the reserve gate, we'll be walking in between wild animals. So keep in mind that anything can happen. We might be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we might be walking, following each other. Then the springbok or jackals or rabbit just jump out of bushes. Then the horses will get spooked. If the horses get spooked and maybe it happens, maybe a horse maybe start maybe jumping a little bit or sideways. Please do not scream. Just hold tight your saddle, then I can be able to save your life. Okay? Do not scream. Do not scream, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because okay. If you start screaming, then your horse will start running, then that's another story, then you, you might end up falling. Right? Okay. So please do not scream, just hold tight, then I can be able to control your horse. Okay. And while we're going out now, if maybe we're lucky to see like uh, the buffaloes, elephants, rhinos, we're not going to get any closer to those animals. They love chasing horses. So the horses are getting scared of me. So we're not gonna get they love closer. chasing horses. Yeah. So we're not going to get any closer Ooh, to them. Stacey. Maybe we're lucky to see them. Okay. Okay. We're just going to see them in a distance. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's so fine. Please. Then while you're going out, feel free to ask questions. Then I'll give you answers. Feel free. And if you're not feeling comfortable, just tell me that, no, no, I'm not feeling comfortable. Then we can have plan B. Okay. Okay. No screaming. No chasing rhinos. No. And be comfortable. Be comfortable. Okay. okay. Once Got you it. sit on your horse, just tell yourself that now you're in control. Don't let the horse control you because you can afford. Mm. Tell yourself that now I'm the driver. Mm. I'm controlling you. You must listen to me. Mm. Okay. okay. And feel free and enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you, Busi. Okay, this guy. Which one's Stacy's horse? Which one? Yours is going to be uh, that one. Aha. Uh -huh. What's his name? That's Madeleine. Madeleine. Hey, Madeleine. How are you doing this morning? Say hi, Stacy. All the way to Portland, Oregon, from Africa. <laughs> I am so excited to share this great episode with the world. What started off as just another paper boat dream to be made true for someone, quickly turned in something absolutely amazing, guys. This week, we stopped the evil ways of a potential poacher in South Africa. Yeah, you have to report it, eh? For sure. 
So guys, very interesting. We're going on the horses right now and we just spotted a drone in the air. And uh, this is a no drone fly zone because what the people will do is that they will send drones over to see where the rhinos are and we're just reporting that right now. There's a white car standing down the road uh, behind the rhino boat. I think that road is going to be because it's going in that direction. Where exactly is the car? The car is outside of the road, yeah, behind the rhino boat. Don't give a shit. Can you make it clean? Because that, that drone now is like going down now to that car. There's the car. That, that car, I hope I can get it. Going Where's the security going? That was fast, Vuzi. Yeah. Okay, so when we get back, we'll know exactly what it is. But the security has been dispatched. I can see the vehicle pulling up to them right now, and uh, they'll have to confiscate that drone and get all the footage. Uh, we'll report back when we when we get back to the to the reception area. I'm so happy that we were on the horse because otherwise we'd never know. So this is what the guys do, they fly drones and they come and collect information about why, where the rhinos are and then they come poach them and I'm so happy that we could uh, intercept that today. Now the rhino horn trade has been an epidemic larger than we can fathom for a long time. It's been a real big problem. Thank you so much for this little girl for sending me an email wanting me to make her dream come true and at the same time we were able to make a rhino see yet another day. Thank you so much for the guys at Saving Private Rhino for the 24 hour free rapid rhino response. Guys, these guys are the real deal. Go check them out on savingprivaterhino.org. Also, if you would like to donate to this cause, please do so in the link in the description below. Okay, we're spotting our first animals, guys. Just to, I wanna say my port side. <laughs> Just to the left, we have rhino. Big Cape Buffalo, Blesbok, and also the giant eland. Those buffalo kill a lot of people in Africa. They're very dangerous. Shut up! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, you guys. This is amazing. I hope you're having fun. Uh, like I said, rhino in the background. This is the first time I ever see rhino on horseback. It's really, really neat. It's kind of scary because you don't have the protection of the vehicle and it's like nature. And a rhino charges at how many seconds? Uh, it's about uh, 15 to 20 seconds. Then it will be here? Yes. From there? Yes. They're very fast. <laughs> but my horse is fast, eh? Your horse is faster but than like, a rhino. Yes. <laughs> you need to be ready. <laughs> That uh, the mother of rhino, of that the rhino is expect, we are expecting a baby soon. The mother is about to give birth, so the mother must chase the baby out before the chicken will give birth. Oh! Baby. So okay. that's the signs that show us that we are expecting a baby soon. So that's the mother walking down there. No, that, this is, is the, that baby. the baby. Yeah, that's the baby. Oh my goodness, it's so big. Call that a baby? Okay, Maddie, you're gonna wait for me. I'm gonna go show Stacy this. Uh, beautiful view so just got off the horse and uh, this is the viewpoint of the game reserve and what you see is the whole beautiful game reserve ahead in front of you and two rhinos look at that look at that beautiful beautiful picture oh that is spectacular <gasps> a rhino with its horn on I, ca I, I can't get over this this is amazing this is so great guys thank you to the anti-poaching units thank you to everybody that's been donating thank you to a killer game farm for working so hard at making this dream of having rhinos with their horns on in the wild possible there's another one guys I just was saying that you know when you go on safari you never know what animals you're gonna see you might see a lot you might not see anything and it just so happened that on this horseback safari the rhino was really the animal that we saw the most and Ooh, look at that look at that look at that Woo! Oh, I see. you see if that thing comes we're too late 
No, he's not going to no. come. Madeleine, do you see the elephant? He's being rowdy. No, he's just smelling home. <laughs> oh, they want to go home now. Wow, elephants. Port side. Midship. <laughs> Man, they're big. If you, if you imagine. I mean, we're on our horses and they're still higher than us. Eh? You can just, it looks like a building. And we're back. Thank you, girl. Did you like that? Huh? Did you enjoy that? Huh? Okay, you guys, we have Baron here and he's the head of the anti-poaching unit. As you guys saw when we were on the horses, we saw the drone. Baron, in your, in your best English, tell us exactly <laughs> what happened. And, and I saw you guys driving off to, to the vehicle. Yeah, it is a, a, using a drone in the reserve is really a... Uh, a big concern for us. Um, it captures uh, um, the locations of our rhinos. We went out there. We we um, looked at observed, the car. Yeah, we just observed if it's this that specific vehicle. So we saw the drone. The drone was coming back. We informed the people to, to stop filming with the specific. Stage. Did you get? Did you guys get the footage? Did you delete uh, it? Yeah, we deleted it immediately. We, we informed them. You, um, it's by South African law. You're not allowed to, to, to use a drone. You are um, you're breaking the aviation laws. Okay. And okay. you have to have permission to use a drone in, in, the, in the, the game system, reserve. In the game reserve, especially with rhinos. Because you never know if a guest is an informant, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for doing such a great yeah, job, man. Thank you so much. Us. Yeah, thank it. you, Jingyi. And I was just saying, you know, uh, we went on a, on a, on, a, on the horseback safari and. The star of the show was definitely the rhino today. Yeah, and it's so amazing to see them with their horns. And you yeah. guys do an amazing job. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Thanks guys. Well, I hope you guys can hear me with this wind. There's lots of nice wind coming past. What an amazing, amazing day. What an amazing trip. Horseback safari in Africa. So if that was your dream, as it was Stacy's, well, I'm happy to have made this paper boat project a reality to you. Remember, a dream is only a dream until you act on it. So uh, the first thing is to dream big, right? And the second thing is to actually make that dream come true. And I'm so glad that I could make your dream come true today, Stacey. I hope you had an amazing time with us. So from me and from the Paper Boat Project, next time we make somebody else's dream come true. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Paper Boat Project. I really enjoyed creating these films for you guys. But I would like to have your comments and your feedback in the sections below. Make sure that you like subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when I'm releasing a new episode. And from me, my friends, I'll see you next time right here on the Paperboat Project. And remember, you're awesome, man.